Ура! Where you going? What about my bin? Keep it shut! Cheek! It's council policy. If you don't shut your bins, they don't get emptied. You were sent a leaflet about it. Get off my wagon! Empty my bin! Tell it to Steve and Kelly. It's their rubbish. Kelly? They were up here last night when you were out. Doing what? Right, just for chucking. No, you leave that, it's mine. All right, there's no need to bite me head off. Are you not eating? Oh, I'm nil by mouth. Nil by brain. Oi! I don't want any arguments. Nil by common sense. Nil by sensitivity. It's all fair. What time have you got to be at the clinic? Well, Yuri, that's my surgeon, said I should be there about two o'clock. It is a clinic, isn't it? Not a hospital. Well, yeah, it said um, posh, actually. It's not like that cruddy NHS hospital that Mum went to. It wants to be. Money to charge in. Well, no, I just meant, like, in the waiting room. The magazines were all up to date. They have, like, Elle and Vogue and... Are you not scared? No. You go in under the surgeon's knife. You have to suffer for your art, Dad. Yeah, but what if it goes wrong? Well, Yuri does dozens of procedures every week. Yeah, and I do dozens of clutches. I can still make a mistake, the wrong bit in the wrong place. You're just trying to scare me. I will be fine. I have absolute confidence in Yuri. He does implants for... For pop singers and models and... Like who? Well, he couldn't tell me the names. It's patient confidentiality. He is a proper surgeon, though. Yes, Dad! <clears throat> Becky's in bits because of you and your stupid games. I know. Moron. Hey. What's this about you and Kelly? Ugh, look, we had a drink, we had a laugh. Did you sleep with her? No! Well, it changes everything if you did. Cos then it's not just some daft tiff anymore, is it? Then it's adultery. Why doesn't anyone believe me? Can't believe she's going through with it. The timing's lousy. Does Sally know? Not yet. She'll go ape. Well, it's her body, I suppose. Yeah, a perfectly good body. She wants to mutilate. Ah, go on. I bet you won't mind getting a bit of work done. Maybe remove those frown lines, bit of a tummy tuck. It's not funny, Tyrone. Yeah, I know. But she's obviously not happy, is she? And she's got you and Sophie on a case. Yeah, well, someone's got to try and talk sense into her. I'd get a bit of work done, I reckon, if I had the money. Maybe a bit of liposuction on me man boobs. Might impress Molly. and never know she's a fitness nut. What the hell's that? Breakfast. Brandy. It's nine o'clock in the morning. You know some days you just want to obliterate everything. No. All the way over you. I'm going out. Becky McDonald, you are my wife and I demand that you talk to me. Uh, what, what's with the bin bag? I'll just get these, Ty. Uh, OK, um, 135. I enjoyed the Rovers the other night. Yeah, yeah, me too. Um, so that's two, three, four, five. Yeah. We'll have to do it again sometime. As long as you don't go getting any ideas. What? That it can lead somewhere. We can be mates, but we can't be anything else. Oh, I was only trying to... Forget it. <clears throat> Gotta be cruel to be kind. Yeah. Well, that was just cruel. 
He's angling. I know what he's like. I've got to nip these things in the bud. If you say so. Letting him think there's hope, that would be cruel. What it is, my wife's away at the moment and I really need to get this sorted. So, I definitely need both our signatures. No, no, that's not a problem. Get the biscuits. Yeah, I got the flaming pickies. Not right, tug on my leash and all. What? Slap down, put in my place. Just reminded that I'm whistling in the wind if I think I've got any chance of getting back with her. <sighs> Listen, you don't mind holding the fort for a couple of hours, do you? Yeah, well, what's Rosie? I'm worried about her. Annoyed with her, you mean? No, I don't agree with what she's doing, but I hate the thought of her being scared. Hang on. I want to wait with you. What are you doing this afternoon? Well, if you're asking, I'm busy. You're a rubbish date. I need you to come to the pub. That's a novel solution to the refuse collection problem. <laughs> hey, Carrying a bin bag round with you. Oh, I, uh... Where are you off? Just somewhat I've got to sort out in town. Right. OK. Perhaps I'll see you later, then. Yeah. Gone? No, but my bag is packed and my cab is ordered. Yeah, I know. I, uh... Dad, please. Right? It is my body. It's my money. Well, it's Alfie's. But nothing and no one is going to make me change my mind. I know. I've come to give you a lift. What? Look, I don't agree with what you're doing, but I know you're scared. And I don't want you to go on your own. And there's no hidden agenda? No, I'm not going to try and stop you, I promise. I'm your dad. I'm worried about you. <sighs> right, I'll go and cancel the taxi. The Wanderer returns. Like it. Have you got a minute? Steve, if this is about you and her. Go on, tell her. No happened between me and him. I don't care if it did. It could have if I wanted it to. No, it couldn't. You were putting me on. I was mashed. I don't even fancy her. I was just winding you up. Sorry to interrupt, but are you planning on doing any work today? I hope you don't mind me asking. It's just that with you being on the staff rotor. Liz, give me a break. Your life is one long break. Monk, can you just stay out, please? No, I can't. No. It's affecting this pub now, and I've had enough. Me too. Even if your marriage is on the rocks, and, well, frankly, I'm surprised it's lasted this long, but nothing justifies the way you're moping about, feeling sorry for yourself. You're right. Where's she gone now? I don't know, but she's still clinging onto that bin bag. It's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight Rising up to the challenge of our rivals And the less known survivor stalks his prey in the night And he's watching us all through the eyes Hey, <laughs> you've got the X Factor Tina, Tina, your dad She's like a... She's like a walking jukebox, hit after hit. Makes a change from Norris. Yeah, but not in a good way. She is driving me loopy. Tell her to can it. Well, I don't, because I'm scared of her. Give over, she's a pussycat. Uh, will you try spending eight hours a day with her? Anyway, I just came to apologise. What happened yesterday was unacceptable. What's wrong, Dan? You in trouble? 
No. Is it money? No, of course not. Me and Gail are just having a domestic. Yeah, but in the street. Come on, Dad. You're not telling me everything. I know you. Don't worry. We kissed and made up. From now on, it'll be wedded bliss. And I won't show myself up again. Mm. Well, I'm betting one of the first patients to bring the dad along. But you're not. There'll be plenty of blokes proud that the daughter's doing what you're doing. Dad, you're not going to beat Yuri up, are you? What do you take me for, eh? Some aggressive, overprotective father. You're wrong about these magazines, by the way. They're rubbish. <clears throat> so, uh, what size will you be after the operation? Um, a 32 double F. Will you still fit in your clothes? Oh, well, I'll have to buy a whole new wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> and will it really help you get work? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because you've not had brilliant luck with boyfriends, have you? No, I've gone out with some gorgeous men. Yeah, but your last serious relationship was with Craig. Well, yeah, but what about Luke Strong? Use you, dump you, con you. Look, I'm just trying to say, don't think I've got the perfect body, I'll get the perfect bloke. Dad, you're just trying to mess with my head. No, I'm just trying to understand what's going on in it. Well, nothing. Nothing's going on inside. I'm a complete airhead, you know that. No, you're not stupid. You went to Oak Hill. And what does, what does that mean exactly? What, I should be swatting Froxbridge? No, I just think you're too bright to be taken in by all this. Taken in by what? All the rubbish in these magazines. It's what's inside that matters. Like cancer cells. Don't say that. Well, don't give me this. Beauty is only skin deep rubbish. I don't believe any of it. If you could just put this gown on, please. We're nearly ready for you. So, basically, I'm in the doghouse for not sleeping with somebody. Oh, hang on. A rewind. I thought you said you took Kelly out to the flat. Nothing happened. See, what I don't get is how you thought that inviting another woman upstairs would improve your relationship. That is a rubbish strategy. I thought it would force the issue. She'd get jealous. We'd have an argument. We'd go to bed. Do you generally find that uh, incensing your wife acts as a aphrodisiac? Sometimes. you got to break up to make up. So where's Becky now? I don't know, she walked out on me. Yes? Uh, I'll have a white wine, huh? Jam, what are you having? Hi. So, you sort of held up the bin man, hijacked his wagon. Who says you can't fight City Hall? <laughs> Snivelling jobs worth. Cute, though. So, did he take your rubbish in the end? Oh, yes. Hey, I hope this keep it short thing isn't going on when we open the bar. That town hall is full of little Nazis that sit there all day long making up stupid rules. <laughs> Hey, guess what? Got me invites printed for the hard hat party today. Oh, do I get one? Yeah, of course you do. Might need your help as well, though. Typical. Are you still waiting for that bus? No, been and gone. So what are you doing now? Just sitting. Wouldn't you rather be sitting inside? No, I like it outside. And smoke all I like. Becky, I don't mean to pry, but is something the matter? Nah. I'm fine. Come inside with me. Please. Make you not chocolate. Haven't you humiliated me enough? Sorry? This morning, that was well out of order saying all that in front of Dev. 
I'm sorry, but I know what you like. You see a glimmer of hope and that's it. Well, is it so terrible that I won't give up on my marriage? No. Well, I'm a such an idiot that you have to speak to me like I'm nothing. Of course you're not an idiot, but you think there's a way back for us. I don't. Then fine. Get out of my life. I mean it. Stay away from me. I never want to see you again. You just can't accept that I'm shallow. You think that has to be some deep psychological problem for me to want to do this? But you get it, I just want great poops. Oh, well, sir. You know, if you didn't have a chest and it was making your life a misery, I could understand. You know, if you needed to have it done. Oh, here we go. What? Another less than subtle reminder that my mum might have to have a breast chopped off. And here's me having a. A needless enhancement. I wasn't thinking that. I was. I think about it every second of every day. Do you know what it makes me think? I better live my life now. Because when the really bad stuff comes along, then there is no warning. Yeah. Why did it have to happen to my mum? Why? I mean, she is a good person. Why, my mum? Oh, congratulations, Dad. What? <sighs> plans worked. What plans? I'm not going to go through with it. It just feels wrong. I thought your mind was made up. I'm gonna have to tell Yuri about it. Honestly? Well, you're right. Oh, there's nothing wrong with me. I shouldn't look around with my body. Can't believe I've just heard you say that. Do you think Yuri will go mad? I don't suppose you're the first person I get cold feet. Anyway, I can always fight you. I know, but do you think they'll make me pay? Oh, we'll just scarp. Dad, you know what clinched it? What? Three grand for the op. I mean, I suddenly thought if I could persuade Alfie to spend that on clothes. <laughs> Drinking cider in the street is hardly a cause for concern. It's Becky after all. I heard that. You were meant to. There's something the matter though, I can tell. I'm fine, honestly. Your marriage, it's going through a sticky path. Oh, say that again. And I know there's been more trouble because I heard Kelly Crabtree gassing today. Stuff her. Stuff her, I can't be bothered. Sometimes you have to work at a marriage. What's the point, though, if you're just not suited? Well, I think you and Steve make a lovely couple. When we're happy, yeah. We're high as kites, the birds are singing, I literally float. You can't expect it to be like that all the time. We both want different things out of life, so... The sooner we face that, the better. I've just had a terrible thought. What? This morning, when you went off on bus, you wouldn't tell me where you were going. You weren't off to see a solicitor. No. Only you can get help. Professional help. Counselling, mediation. A flaming good shake is what Steve needs, and I need to stop moping. I've got a face to turn milk sour. You can't pretend to be happy when you're not. Yeah, I should count my blessings, though. Make the most of what I've got before it's too late. I know you, Becky Granger. MacDonald. There's something you're not telling us. There's something on your mind. If you're in any kind of trouble... Oh, why should I be in trouble? OK, shall I tell you where I was today? Do you really want to know? Yes. I was at the Undertaker's organising a funeral.
the funeral? Is it anyone we know? Barely know myself. Not anymore. My mother. Your mother? She died. Living rough. I've got a teeth in here, if you don't believe me. Teeth. Specs. Lighter. Fake gold necklace shawl as well. Table tennis bat. A few smelly clothes and that's it. Her worldly goods. I don't know what to say. You... You must be devastated. Not really, no. Never liked her much, and she certainly never liked me. Oh, you're in shock. I can tell you're bound to be. No big deal. I'll take it Steve doesn't know. No. And I'd rather it stop that way, if you don't mind. It's private. I didn't see that coming. Ben Shepherd and Colleen Nolan will be bringing us all the latest slip-ups and successes from the week with Dancing on Ice Friday at 8 tomorrow. Next tonight, though, Joe's first case with her promotions proving to be a toughie in the bill.